Hi everybody. So the video I just played before was um, practicing subtraction and today I just wanted to go over a couple of those subtraction rules. So we already know that if there's more next door, more on the floor, we're going to go next door and grab 10 more. If the numbers are the same, zero is the game. And if there's more on top, there's no need to stop. So we're going to practice a couple of these today. So the first one I'm going to put up is 80. And if you want to do these on a piece of paper with me, you can go ahead and do that. Minus... 17. So if we start in the ones column, and sometimes I like to put a little line there just to separate my work and keep it nice and neat. If I have zero and I try to take away seven, we already know if I have nothing, I can't take away seven. And there's more on the floor, so I have to go next door and grab 10 more. So this is going to become a seven because I'm going to grab a 10 away from there and I'm going to make this a 10. Now we're going to see if it can help me out. So 10 take away seven is three and seven take away one is six. And then we can go ahead and check our answer by doing the reverse of that. And this is subtraction, so this is just like a fact family. 80 take away 17 is 63, and 63 plus 17 should equal 80. So let's go ahead and try it. 63 plus 17. 3 plus 7 is 10, so I put the 0 there. I carry a 10. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8. And this number right here should match this number right here if you got the answer correct, okay? So that's one of them. Now I wanna go over the one where the number on the top is bigger. So let's do 63 minus 12. When you go to subtract a problem and you get to the ones column and you notice that the number on the top is bigger, there's no need to stop, okay? Because the number on the top is bigger. So the number on the top, bigger number on the top means no need to stop. So three take away two. I can do three take away two, and if I have three and take away two, that's one. And then I go to the tens column, six take away one is five. And we've already talked about when the number's bigger on the top and there's no need to stop, that's usually when it's a pretty simple problem. Now, sometimes we talk about numbers that are the same. So let's say we have 63 and we subtract 13. The two numbers are the same, and we always say when the numbers are the same, zero is the game. So three take away three, we already know is zero, and six take away one is five. And then you can check your work by doing this. You can actually probably even do this one in your head. 50 plus 10 is 60, plus three more is 63. If you can't do it in your head like that, then show your work. 50 plus 13, zero plus three is three, and five plus one is six, and this matches this, so that way you know you got it right. Okay, so when you're doing your math this week at home, go ahead and try to um, remember those rules and then always try to check your work as well. Have a good day.